going on, y'all? So, here to talk to y'all about do women like bad guys or let me say this I'm here to expose the misunderstanding of that shit because I know the truth I was like y'all I didn't understand but now I understand the truth there's like three different reasons why you might feel this way. There's like three different types of reasons why a woman likes a guy. There's more, of course, but I'm going to just go off of what I think and why I feel like y'all feel that they like bad guys. Because it's really a misunderstanding for the most part. Number one, probably, is attraction. A lot of y'all don't realize that you're not what that woman wants. You know, you might look all right to the woman or something like that, but you're not her cup of tea, right? So in your opinion, you thinking, oh, she like since I'm nice to her or try to be nice to her or want to be nice to her and she rejects it, that means she doesn't like good guys. And she likes the guy that doesn't reject or the guy that treats her like shit. Right? But what you're not understanding is this. If that guy that she likes treated her like, it, let's say like this. I'm having a hard time because it's a stupid ass thing, man. I the Let's say it like this. If that guy, if she wasn't that attracted to that guy, whatever, way or why, whatever, she wouldn't put up with that. You men have to put yourself in the position of a woman that you think is unattractive. Like, just say a 500 pound woman that you don't like, right? That's what you are when it comes to some women. It don't matter. It, you could be, you might not be, you might be a handsome dude, whatever. Pause, you know what I mean? I'm going to just use me because I don't like to do that pause bullshit. You could be a handsome guy like me. A woman could think I'm handsome, right? But I might not be her cup of tea. Or I might be handsome, but she thinks another guy or other guys is more handsome. So therefore, when you try to talk to the chick, and if she rejects you, you're going to think, well, I try to be nice, she likes the bad guy, that's why. And to get back to what I was saying, why well, you might ask yourself, well, why do they like the guys that treat them like shit? One reason is attraction. Another reason is attachment. Another reason is um, lack of self, um, how do you say this? Self-love or, or, yeah, self-love, right? And another reason is because she could be immature. What do I mean by that? Because I'm going to get into all this. I'm going to try to. This phone would just stop falling, man. Because remember, I said there's like three different ways. And another way, not just the attraction, but immaturity. That's another way why a woman might not like a good guy. Because the bad guy's fun. You know, the guy that keeps her wondering what's next. Is this motherfucker going to go to jail tonight? Um, just, uh, he's talking to this girl. Now I'm arguing with this girl. And, and you, as a the, the so-called nice guy, because sometimes you ain't even a nice guy, but we're just going to say the guy that likes her. You know, you're predictable. She knows what to expect. She doesn't really know what to expect when it comes to guys that she's unsure if they really like her or a guy who really just doesn't care. You know what I mean? It, when a guy doesn't really show he cares or he just simply doesn't care, a lot of times it makes the woman feel like she's not good enough. 
But if it's a guy that already showed that he care, you know what I mean? Sometimes that could backfire against you because it's like, I got you in the bag. It's kind of like a woman not letting you smash and you just wondering like, well, not me, but a lot of y'all, what's it like to fuck her? Oh, I wonder, and this and that. Versus a girl, she let you smash and now you like, oh, I'm good, I'm gonna start acting like a damn fool now. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. It's, it's one what you can't have or haven't had a lot of times. But if you're the guy that is good to her and she got you, a lot of times they don't want you. But the so-called guy that she deals with that is treating her like shit, she doesn't got him. Or she it doesn't seem like she got him. Like again, like I said, she wonders where, well, who is he talking to? What is he doing? And this or that, right? Basically, the bad guy keeps her on her toes versus the good guy who don't. So it's not necessarily that women purposely like guys that are bad to them, because that's not the case. In some cases, yes, that's an Im immature women do. That's an immaturity on their part, right? But for the most part, women don't purposely like bad guys. A lot of these guys are liars. They're deceivers. You know what I mean? They're, they're putting on something that they're not. And a woman likes the guy as far as attraction. So, in other words, the guy's attractive to the woman, but he's a liar at the same time. The reason why you can't get that off, you're like, well, I'm nice too. I'm nice to her too. Because she doesn't like you like that guy. You got to be attracted too. If you don't understand what I'm saying, imagine a 500-pound ugly woman and then imagine a supermodel. And imagine them both trying to make you feel like they want you. Which one you gonna go for? Hmm? See, a lot of you men don't wanna admit that you're just not the one she wants. And that's your biggest downfall and that's why your egos need to be put in check when it comes to females. Because if not, if not, if you don't put your egos in check, now you're supposed to think you're the best man. I think I'm the best man. I don't give a fuck what no woman says. She will never, ever, no woman could ever convince me that another man's better than me, ever. But when it comes to dealing with a woman specifically, not with my inner self, but with a woman, I have to respect the fact that I'm selling a product to the female. So if she doesn't want the product, I have to respect that. But that's where a lot of you guys err because you're not accepting the fact that you're not the number one choice. Remember what Nelly said, I am number one. Two is not a winner, and three, she won't remember. He didn't say that, but that's what I'm saying. She's not gonna remember you if you, I keep telling y'all, you've got to be number one. There is no other option. The only other option is if you're not number one, if she lets you smash, okay, I guess, fuck it, fuck it, go ahead. But if you wanna make that woman your girl and shit, you gotta be number one. There is no exception to this rule, if you're not. Then you're gonna get you're just a provider and she's gonna cheat Or maybe she's not a cheater, but she'll just use you to be you'll just be a provider until you're no longer needed And then you know somebody else come along, right? I know it's off topic a little bit, but It's not really that they like bad guys. It's a lot of your guys just not you're not attracted to that woman, man You're not attractive to that woman. That's what it really is and that's what you need to accept. You know what I mean? You need to accept this. Every woman is not going to think that you're um, attractive, right? And sometimes these women, it's not that they don't think you're attractive. It's just that you're not the number one choice. I don't understand why this is so hard. Rihanna's attractive. Beyonce's attractive. I'm still going to pick Beyonce. I'm not going to fuck with Rihanna. That's just what it is. That don't mean that she's ugly or nothing. It don't mean that, man. But y'all not getting this. Because y'all want every woman in the world to like you. But why do you want every woman in the world to like you? Every woman in the world isn't worth dealing with. So why the fuck do you care as a man? You got to understand that a woman got options all day long, every day. And no, they're not options that's going to make her wife and all this. We get it. But they still options. And some of those options look better than you in her eyes. Some of those options have more money than you in her eyes. Some of those options just a lot of different shit. 
to her and her eyes that you don't have. It is what it is. Some women might like short guys. Some women might like tall guys. There's no exception to the rule of all women like this and all women like that. You know what I mean? And once you understand that, like, all women got different tastes. Like, they all like different shit. Once you understand that, you'll get up out your damn ego and stop crying in the corner or crying in the car because some woman is saying she don't like good guys. It's, it's very... The only women I say that purposely like bad guys is very immature women. Other than that, no woman's walking around here just, I'm gonna just pick me a bad guy that treats me like shit. It's deeper than that. It could be the sex. It could be the um, the looks. It could be the way the guy carries himself. It could be the lifestyle. Sometimes it is the woman though because, and here's why I'm gonna say sometimes it's the woman. I can't really read all that. I wish I could, but I can't. Because you might, I might read something you say and then it make the video even better. But sometimes it, it's sometimes the woman likes the bad guy because she's a bad woman, right? That's true. That's very true, right? Because she relates to bad. Like she doesn't like good. You're a goody two shoes in her eyes. You know what I mean? But why would you want those type of women anyway? This is why I gotta keep asking men over and over until you get it to your blockheads. You're doing, men are doing the same shit that women do. They just don't realize it. You get on social media every day. Women like bad guys, right? Right? But then you like bad women. How do I know you like bad women or you like, because all a bad woman or man is, is somebody that doesn't really like you. It's not, everybody has a good and bad side so there's really no such thing technically as a good or bad woman because we all can be good or bad if that makes sense right so what it really boils down to is if a woman really fucks with you or if a woman really don't so why do men cry and complain and worry about women that don't see them number one that makes her a bad woman if the woman does not see you number one and you want more out of a woman than sex, right? That makes her a bad woman. Not a bad woman in the sense that she's a bad woman, but a bad woman for you. I don't care if she's a good woman to the other guy. What does that got to do with me? Remember what the pimp said. If she's not paying you or laying you, she's playing you. And I believe that because if a woman really like a guy, she'll buy him things. I'm not saying the woman should take care of a guy, but if she really like the guy, she'll buy the guy. So if she really like the guy, she's going to want to sleep with the guy. Plain and simple. This is not mathematics. It's rocket science. You're right? If a woman does not like you by default, you need to get this mindset. If she don't like me, she's not good for me. She's not a good woman. Not a good woman in the sense of that. You can only get a good woman and everybody else on earth got bad women. But in the sense of what is she going to be for you? See, a lot of these women, the reason why they get caught up with the so-called bad guy, right? Is because the bad guy is not a bad guy at all, really. But he's just a bad guy for her in a relationship, dog. You get what I'm saying? Like, he's a good dude. He don't do shit wrong. But when it comes to picking... When it comes to being a lover, he's not good. But the woman still deals with it in hopes that he changes or whatever the case may be, right? But he's not. He's still going to sleep with multiple women if he want to do it, right? And guess what? You're not changing these women's minds if you can't. Either you got it or you don't. That's what it comes down to. Either the woman really fuck with you or want to fuck with you or she don't. But then again, some of y'all men standards are so low, you're okay with, well, as long as I smash, I don't give a damn. I mean, I guess, I don't see it though. I guess it all depends on what you're looking for. But to me, it sounds like a lot of y'all men are looking for the one or whatever you want to call it. You're looking for a woman that really be your woman. Well, th if that's the case, then if she doesn't, Act like she sees you number one, which is going to be very obvious. 
whether she does or she don't remember that shit then if she don't see you number one she's not right for you you know what i mean you can't see her number one she's not right and if you still want to comply and try to fight and be a dancing monkey and shit you're just as guilty as the women who like men who they know ain't good for them they know they not right but why do they keep doing it because of attraction and shit like this uh, low self-esteem whatever right so that must mean you men must have low self-esteem right well, cause why would you deal with a woman that don't really like you then? See, you're doing the same thing that the so-called women do that you accuse of liking bad, um, bad men. Now, let me ask you men something. The men, the women that y'all like that don't like y'all back. Does that mean that you, you're running around here? I'm going to purposely get a bad woman. No, you're not. You're trying to get a good woman, but you're trying to get it out of a woman that's bad for you. Right? Doesn't matter if she's good to him, him, and him. She could be good to 80,000 billion trillion other guys. But if she's not good to me, then she's not a good woman. Not in a sense, I got to keep saying this. Not in the sense of she's a bad woman in general, because she might not be. But for me, y'all got to understand that women are different for different men. She's going to be different for different men. That's why the pimp said if she's not paying you or laying you, she's playing you. Because that same woman that says, I don't want to fuck until 30,000 years, um, this all these rules and regulations, that same woman will break all those rules and regulations for the guy she liked the most. Or the guy she really liked, right? Same woman. Same woman. No difference, right? So that's why y'all got to start screening out how a woman deals with you. Who cares what... Okay, oh, uh, I'm looking for a good woman and this and that. First of all, you got to realize when you're looking for a good woman, it's about how she is toward you. None of these women are perfect, just like none of us men are perfect. So this is a, um, this is a, a part where women err. They looking for a good man, but they don't understand that a man could, a man's, it's not about if a man's good or not. It's about if he's good to you or not. That's what it's about because ain't none of us perfect. None of us. None of us are perfect. So it's really not about who people are. It's more about how they deal with me. How are they towards me? Plain and simple, man. But hey, y'all want to keep doing this shit. I can't, I can't make you see something you don't see, man. Y'all want to keep listening to these videos? On YouTube and shit, making y'all believe that women purposely like bad guys. So, you think a woman don't like you because you're a good guy. Now you want to be the bad guy now. Now you're about to stoop to the other level and be a bad guy and shoot yourself in the foot and miss out on the blessing. That's what a lot of women have done. I'm tired of being a good woman, man. These men don't appreciate shit. And then right before she's about to get blessed in life by the universe, by the good guy, she done turned bad. Now she done fumbled it. And that's what's going to happen to y'all men. A lot of y'all good men, y'all think it's you and it's not. Also, let's not forget about the devil. The devil can't use you good men. Should I say men who have good intentions? In, in other words... Me and another guy can both be thugs, right? But he doesn't have good intentions for this girl, and I do. Nine times out of ten, she's going to pick that guy. It happened with me and my cousin back in the day. When we was young as fuck, I took the girl's virginity, right? And she knew I was right for her. But she went after that one and got played. And that's just how it is. And that's how it's always going to be. We was the same, though. It wasn't like I was some nerd and he was some thug or something. No, we was both the same. We was both in the streets doing whatever. We was the same. But the difference is I, my intentions for the girl was good and his intentions was I don't give a fuck. So, you know, the devil's going to try to convince people to pick that person. And that's what the devil does with everybody. He tries to convince y'all to worry about a motherfucker that doesn't give a fuck about y'all instead of the ones that do. Y'all not, y'all not looking at the people who actually want to deal with y'all. Y'all trying to deal with people who don't. And then you wonder why they don't like you and you want to blame it on she likes bad guys or he likes 
he likes the hoes and these men don't want to be faithful and these men don't want to do this or that. No, they just don't want to do it for you. Because if you was the one they really, really like and you ain't really fuck up and kind of like rub him wrong or something, he'd probably do it for you. If you was really, if you really was one he was really trying to fuck with and you convinced him and you didn't fuck up like that. The boy won't my man stop fucking this girl and that girl because that's what he want to do. That's what he gonna do, and he ain't gonna stop doing it. All right, so I'm out of here for now because I can't run out of time, man. If they don't really purposely like bad guys, man. Maybe when they were like 15 or some shit, but after, nah, not anymore. Any grown ass woman who purposely like bad guys run far as fuck from her. Why do y'all even care? Why do you even want those women? Hell no, nah, they can stay way over there somewhere. A woman who purposely likes toxic shit, stay way over there. Y'all got to think about this shit, man. You really want to deal with a woman like that? But the reason why you care about them is because what they look like or some yeah, attraction nine times out of ten. Because if all women who like toxic men was 500 pounds of ugly, you wouldn't give no fucks. You'd be like, oh, well, I don't give a fuck. So you only care because of attraction. And that's why women only care about the so-called bad guys. Attraction. If they was all if all bad guys was ugly, women would be dating all good guys. They wouldn't even deal with them. But attraction is a motherfucker, man. And, and unfortunately, a lot of times the so-called bad women and men are very good at attracting people because, not just because of a look, you know, sometimes it's look, sometimes it's just uh, them being a good at attracting people. Because they deal with so many women or men, so they know game, they know what to say, and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? And you the good guy, girl, you just straight up and down, basically. So it is what it is. I'm out of here for now, man. That's not what it is. Don't believe that lie. The, um, they purposely like bad guys and shit. And, and in other words, ask yourself, why are you worried about women who like bad guys? If you a good guy, like you say, why are you worried about women who like bad guys? Let them fall by the sword. It don't make no fucking sense. You know what I mean? If, if, and if you're not, if you're not going to do that, you're guilty like the women who get on Facebook and cry about men this, men that, nigga this, nigga that. Yeah, because they like the bad guys. If she like good guys, there would be no complaints. She knows good guys exist, but she likes the wrong guys. That's her fault. Who gives a fuck? Let her fall by the sword. Let her cry until she's dead, because that's what's going to be. As long as she keep liking them type of guys, that's what's going to be. What are them type of guys? Guys that don't really like her. It's not necessarily a bad man or a good man. It's more about how does that man really feel about that woman. As long as women keep trying to go after men who don't give a fuck about them, it is what it is. But the problem with the female is she always has that chance to sleep with the guy she really likes the most. And that's where they get caught up the most. As a man, you ain't got to really worry about that. What's your excuse? You just flat out dumb liking women that don't like you. Or worried about women that don't like you. Fuck that. The experience with a woman who really like you versus one that really don't is night and day. Period. You want to end up cheating on and using shit? Then go ahead. Keep trying to like a woman that don't like you. Other than that, you'll know if a woman likes you. Somehow, some way, you're going to know. She's going to let you know if you're number one. So I'm out of here for now. Y'all want to be number two, three, four, five? Go ahead. Go ahead. But I'm telling you, you're going to end up on child support. You're going to end up being cheated on and all this other shit. So you good, good luck with that. You know, I refuse to settle for anything less than number one because I'm number one. So until I see a woman that thinks I'm number one and I think she's number one, it don't matter. Give a fuck. Go ahead. Like him. I'll give a fuck. Because you can't. Because even, even. See, the problem is y'all think, well, if I could just convince her to like me more than him. Yeah, you might do it for a week or two. But now she's back fucking dude that she really was fucking with or some shit. You know what I mean? You don't have these problems when a woman really like you. You only have these problems when a woman doesn't really see you number one. That's when you, when other people could take her. Why you want a woman another man could take? The only way a woman can't take that guy is if you, that, the only way a woman, a guy can't take your woman, that woman, is if she see you number one. Period. I'm out of here.